We hope Canadians enjoy our channel. The news we have today will please all CPP recipients nationwide. This summer's huge windfall will impact your life in ways you can't comprehend. This film will discuss the Canadian government's unprecedented 50% lump sum boost for all CPP claimants. You read correctly a lump sum equal to half your benefit will be given. This momentous decision should affect millions of Canadians' finances. First, let me recap this announcement. First, save the date. September 30th, 2024 is the big day. This extra income midsummer will brighten your year. It's like a Christmas bonus in July, but who can receive this raise? Thank goodness it applies to all CPP eligible Canadians. This rise affects retirement, disability, and survivor benefits. You may be wondering how this affects your monthly payments. Many are surely wondering this, and it's a reasonable question. This 50% increase is a one-time payment, so it won't influence your monthly benefits. Your CPP payment schedule will not change. This is a bonus to your existing benefits. Understand this in light of. I'll demonstrate. Imagine receiving $1,000 in monthly CPP benefits. A single $500 payment will arrive on September 30th, 2024. That's on top of your $1,000 monthly payment, making $1,500 in September 2024. I perceive your thoughts. Although it seems incredible, this is happening and will change the game for many CPP-dependent Canadians. Large financial windfalls come with large liabilities. Prepare carefully for this funding. We should discuss maximizing this potential. Start with a budget. Plan how to spend the money before it arrives. How about emergency savings investing in debt repayment? You can utilize this opportunity by planning. Another alternative is consulting a financial advisor. If you need help spending this windfall, see an expert. You may plan ahead and maximize your unexpected fortune together. Include taxes. The lump sum may affect your taxes, but we don't know yet. Keep some extra. If you have questions, consult a tax specialist. Update your financial records too. Update your Service Canada account for smooth payment processing. Finally, watch out for scammers. The sad truth. Scammers arise suddenly when monies are spoken. Beware of unsolicited CPP rising notifications. Service Canada should never receive your personal information via text or email. Understanding the CPP's growth requires examining its history. In 1966, Canada created the Canada Pension Plan to provide retirement income. Numerous upgrades and adjustments have occurred. This magnitude of increase has never been observed. The CPPP Investment Board was created in 1997 to manage CPP assets and ensure their long-term survival. The CPP improved in 2019, raising contribution rates and benefits. A staggering 50% lump sum increase in 2024 has been announced. This latest modification recognizes the rising cost of living and the financial challenges many retirees and CPP members face. The government's bravery in supporting millions of Canadians immediately is admirable. This boost to the economy has what wider effects. Now we can deconstruct. People will likely spend more first. As millions of Canadians get surprised huge sums, spending is projected to rise. This might improve the economy greatly. However, inflation may be an issue. Some analysts worry this unexpected funding will cause inflation. However, the one-time payment may ease these concerns. It may reduce government support, which is good. This one-time payment may reduce government dependence, which would benefit other social initiatives. Increased investment and savings are possible. Many Canadians may save or invest their windfall. Long term, this may benefit bank accounts and the economy. Finally, the lump sum's tax classification may temporarily boost government tax revenue. Follow these procedures to spend your lump sum best. Remember, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to improve your finances. You should consider your alternatives. Many should prioritize paying off high-interest debt. Paying off high-interest debt like credit cards. Paying these off with your lump sum saves money. If you own a home, consider upgrades. Fixing or updating your property can increase its value and quality of life. Increase your emergency funds. It may be prudent. Good emergency funds contain three to six months living expenses, so saving this amount could help you get there faster. Planning ahead. Save now to enjoy later. Depositing monies into an RSP or tax-free savings account can provide long-term financial security. This may be an opportunity to improve your health. Use this time to address your health issues if you've been putting them off due to cost. Though frugal, you should reward yourself sometimes. Take a weekend trip or buy that thing you've been eyeing with some of the money. If you can, use some of the money to support ailing family or save for college. If you're feeling generous, consider donating to a worthy cause. There may be tax advantages. Because everyone's finances are different, your neighbor's best financial approach may not be yours. 
To maximize this unexpected windfall, evaluate your long-term financial intentions. After covering the basics of the CPP raise, let's discuss your concerns. A common question is whether this expansion is transitory or permanent. This appears to be one major payment. CPP pay payouts will continue as usual. Many are unsure whether to apply for this rise. No application required, which is wonderful. For those receiving CPP payments, the lump sum payment will arrive automatically on September 30th, 2024. This may affect eligibility for OAS and GS, which is another problem. Until now, the government has been ambiguous. However, this one-time payment is unlikely to impede continued benefits. We will update you when additional information becomes available. The government has not set a date for 2024 CPP recipients' eligibility. While we await formal confirmation, please contact Service Canada for the latest tax consequences. Like your regular CPP payouts, this lump sum may be taxable. You may need to save for taxes. Many CPP disability recipients want to know if they're included in this rise. The message states that all CPP recipients are qualified. Including CPP disability recipients, you should also receive the lump sum increase. Some have wondered if this raise may be paid in installments. The government just announced this one-time payout. Beneficiaries may not be able to pay it back in installments. CPP beneficiaries abroad can rest certain that their payments will be made regardless of their location. If you qualify for CPP and get benefits, you should receive this lump sum increase regardless of location. Another unknown is how this will affect the CPP's future viability. After extensive consideration, the government has decided that this one-time boost will not damage the CPP fund's long-term sustainability. The CPP Investment Board manages the fund to ensure its longevity. No need to panic if you haven't received money by September 30th. Minor setbacks or administrative issues are possible. Contact Service Canada if you haven't received your money by the designated date after a week. We consulted experts to better understand the CPP boost and its effects on Canadians and the economy. Dr. Jane Smith, a University of Toronto economics specialist, notes the government's one-time boost. Due to rising living costs, many CPP users are struggling financially. This stimulus package may temporarily boost consumer spending. However, inflation must be monitored. We spoke with financial advisor John Doe, who advised on how to handle this unexpected windfall. CPP recipients should breathe and consider before acting. Take into account your situation because this is a great opportunity to improve your finances. Many will prioritize debt repayment. Some prefer saving for the future. Discuss your alternatives with a financial planner to find the best fit. These expert opinions underline the economic repercussions of this CPP prize on individuals and society. It will definitely affect bank accounts, but it may also shake up the Canadian economy. As this video concludes, let us analyze how this increase affects Canadian society. Strong support for elders comes first. This rise shows a strong commitment to care for Canada's older population, appreciating their contributions and ensuring their comfort. This could boost the economy. By giving consumers more money, it might benefit regional economies countrywide. As our economy recovers from COVID-19, this is especially more important. Growth also reduces income inequality. Since many seniors live on fixed incomes, rising costs have hit them harder. This single sum could help senior Canadians address income inequality. This extra money may help people pay off debt or save for an emergency. Community impact is another possibility. If even a few winners donate part of their lump sum, Canadian charities and community organizations may benefit. Finally, this move has sparked retirement savings talks. Everyone in Canada, regardless of age, should assess their retirement plans and savings to ensure they are prepared for retirement. This significant change the CPP play lump payment increase will affect millions of Canadians irrespective of CPP benefits. Understanding the relevance and maximizing it demands understanding. Plan ahead, get professional advice, and stay abreast of government announcements. We appreciate your time listening to this important information. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel for more Canadian financial news and ideas. To stay informed about the CPP increase and other important financial concerns, push that notification bell. This rise is exciting and a reminder to save for the future. Financial planning is vital throughout life from early career to retirement. Check back for our next video. We appreciate your time watching.